Ivan Zook for Jatai Academy and welcome to another educational presentation. Today let's talk about being a barber pirate. Are you a barber pirate? Are you really? What do pirates say? Pirates say R. That's right. And R really is what it all boils down to in building business in the haircutting business. And I've shared this program live at trade shows and educational events, and I just wanted to excerpt a couple of highlights from it to share with you today. There'll be plenty more opportunities for us to explore many of the R's of being a truly successful barber pirate. You want the chest of gold, you want to be successful, I'll help you get it. The first R we're going to take a look at, R, is rebooking. Rebooking is the art, and it truly is an art of getting the client on the appointment book today before they leave the shop at the end of their haircut. Ask every client every time. And it's not a hard conversation to have. You know, the fact that a client ever comes back really is a little bit of a small miracle. As soon as a client walks out of the shop, they're being pulled in many directions. They might see a beautiful haircut on their brother-in-law. They might hear an advertisement on the radio. They might see a refrigerator magnet at their cousin's house advertising for a hair salon or a barber shop. They might get a coupon in the mail. And the fact that they ever choose to come back to you, it's a testament to your skills and abilities, and it's a wonderful little miracle. But rather than relying on miracles, we need to stack the deck in our favor. We need to ask every customer to book their next appointment before they leave. And if you're a busy, busy hair cutter, many times customers will even ask you, hey, I know you're busy, I better make my appointment for four weeks from now today, otherwise I won't get in. How tough is that? If you're busy, it's easy to ask. You know, Bob, I'm getting busier. You might want to book that appointment today before you leave so you can get the time you want. I know you like Thursdays after work. Is 4.30 good for you? I'll put you down for the 27th. And if you're a newer hair cutter with more open space in your appointment book, the conversation is still pretty easy. You simply thank the customer. You know what, Bob, I really appreciate your business. And your friends and family, the referrals that you're sending me are getting me busier and busier every single day. However, it's getting tough to get some of the premium appointment times. I know you like to come in on Wednesdays at lunchtime. How about if we put you down three weeks from today on Wednesday at 12.30? It's just that simple. And did you notice what I did there? I snuck in another one of the R's. Did you hear me ask for referrals? Yes, R, referrals. Ask every customer every time. Simply hand them two business cards, thank them for their business, once again, we're thanking customers and asking them to send their friends. Requesting referrals of your happy and satisfied customers always has been and always will be the number one best way to build and grow business. And it's practically free. Online, business cards, 500 in a box, $7. I have the fancy ones. They're printed on both sides in color. Those cost me 10 so there's no excuse not to have a box of business cards handing two to every customer and asking for referrals. Are you ready? Let's talk about retailing. The suggesting and recommendation, our recommendation of professional take-home hair and skin care product. I've got samples on my station that I'm able to put in customers' hands as I deliver services, as the customer experiences the product, smells the product, is exposed to the product, we make them aware of the fact that these products are available at the cash register to be taken home and used to continue the experience at home. It's easy and it's wickedly profitable. You must be an effective suggester and recommender of professional take-home hair care product to build and grow your business. And lastly, probably worthy of a video in and of itself, we may get there, R, raise your prices. I could spend the whole day talking about price increases. I've got multiple videos online and there'll be other videos here in the Jatai Academy series that talk about raising your prices. The prices must go up. The rent goes up, the lights go up, the heat goes up, haircuts must go up. Today, as I sit here and film this recording, haircuts are actually cheaper than they were 20 years ago. They're cheaper than they were 30 years ago. They're cheaper than they were 10 years ago. The price of haircutting in America has not kept pace with inflation and with the cost of living increases and the cost of everything else. We must raise the bar and raise our prices. There's many ways to do this and lots of great suggestions and ideas I can offer. And at the very least, July 1st, July 1 is Raise Your Haircut Prices Day in the USA. I've been advocating that for a number of years now. I talk about it at my live shows and events. I offer suggestions and ideas about how to do it. But if you don't do anything else, 
Simply walk in the door of your shop on July 1st, change the price on the menu board, change the price in the pamphlets and flyers, and charge more money. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy. You want to be a barber? You want to be a pirate? Are you ready to grow your business? Are you ready to make more money? Are you with me seeking the chest of gold? I'm happy to help. Have a wonderful day.